what's going on guys if you can see behind me my new truck been doing a lot of work too I'll show you later but right now it's Sunday by the way um, yesterday I went to the auction up here and uh, I bought some stuff I bought another truck even though we just sold two I bought this one and got the other one and I got a tractor and a smoker so we're going to get the trailer hook it up we'll get my tractor got the trailer all hooked up ready to go we're here Allegheny Fairgrounds picking the shit up here's the Silverado fairly clean got some wheels and uh, here's all the attachments for the tractor it's like a 60 inch deck it's got the front rear PTO on it and uh, plow hydraulic all good so let's check this out it's my three cylinder diesel Cub Cadet Thing's fucking sweet. It's got the hydraulic points there. Rear PTO, three point hitch, chains, weights, and uh, yeah, thing's freaking awesome. It's got like 2,000 hours on it, and we bought that. So uh, I'm just gonna unload that right now, and uh, I gotta take the trailer back to my buddy, and uh, yeah, and then we're gonna. Clean up the Silverado a little bit, check the fluid, check everything. Haley drove it, she said it's pretty minty. Pretty good, would you say, or? Yeah, besides the almost flat part. Yeah, it's a little flat, but. Struggling going up the hills a little bit. It's a 1500. I don't even know if it's a V6 or a V8, I just kind of bought it. It is four wheel drive, though. But, like, it's got. You locked it, bro? You just locked the keys in it? Oh, Are you serious? God. Why would you lock it? I didn't. We're in bumfuck nowhere. I didn't lock it. You locked it. You're kidding though, right? <laughs> that door better be open, I swear to God. It's got rain guards, I can't even jimmy the fucking thing. Oh, you're so lucky. Anyways, it's got the black interior. I'll take this shit off. Look at this, nice. No tears. It's a four door, even though in the 2000s they did the three door. So it does open fully. And uh, the only weird thing is the tailgate, the, the one little drop hinge here comes off, but whatever. So I mean, like, it's it's fairly clean, but we, you know, we gotta check the oil and check everything. So yeah, I'm gonna unload this, I'll get back to you. It's dead. Well, I just pushed it off, but uh, things just fucking awesome. Like, super sweet. So, I'm gonna go drop the trailer back off and uh, get back with you guys on that. Robin! Hello, Stella. Robin. Robin. Sir. Come here. Robin, come here. I did, yeah. I just pushed it. It was dead. I left the key on. So, hey, happy guy, hey, happy guy. Got her charging up right now, yo, tratter with the fucking pipe. My seat's definitely going. It's just a cover. I wonder how bad it is under there. <laughs> There's a dog food bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. All right, let's see. Fire up. Yeah, put fire on the clutch. Deader than a doornail, so let that charge up. But here's this fucking thing, man. You're good to go. Got the wheels. It's like it's like fairly clean. Like that's the extent of the rust. The rockers ain't that bad. Like the doors ain't got no fucking holes in it. It's a nice little unit. Selling it. 
purrs like a kitten. No diesel, baby. So got the plow out down there and that bitch is, I don't know, y'all seen it, but bitch is pretty heavy, kind of dropped on my hand a little bit, but it's all right, I'm going to clean myself up and fuck yeah. All good now, doctor got me patched up, you know, Haley, not a real doctor, but tub's looking good, we painted in here, I forgot to do that, and it's at 102 right now. New smoker I got, not the charcoal one here, this propane. And, uh, man, just look at that freaking thing. Sorry, I can't use my hand too much, it's all taped up, but, uh. Oh, truck's all good. That's just the compressor filling the tires up. Nice and clean. I didn't go crazy shampooing, nothing, you know, I didn't even wipe the pedals down, but pretty good. Let's give you a look in the back here. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Got the subway ring. Cool, fuck it. Gonna check all the fluids, make sure everything's good. And it's got it came with paperwork, so I know it just had brakes done, uh, trans cooler lines, all that, and some other shit. But uh, yeah, I mean, like it looks pretty good. It cleaned up nice. So I'm gonna do that. Put the tires up and uh, put her to the curb. <laughs> so here's how she's sitting. Got that in there. These are back here, this fucking 60 something inch deck. The plow that almost took my finger. It was the same finger that got cut off when I was working at a shop a while back, if you guys remember. So, that's cool. <laughs> Nothing but luck with that finger, but uh, here's the 2500. Um, it's not the best. I mean, it's a it's a really strong running truck. It, you know, body wise, could use some love. But other than that, it's a really good truck. Needs a door, rockers. Um, it's you know it's pretty solid. And show you the interior. I mean, it's the same interior I just showed you, just gray. I got her a little muddied up and. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been tackling at it, you know, LEDs, I got some lights down there and stuff like that, but other than that, it's a good truck, and I love it. Can't wait to keep doing stuff to it, wheels, lift, everything, you name it. Tail lights are going, and uh, I got some stickers up there to put on, they uh, put that toolbox on, and I wanted to see where the stickers would sit first, instead of putting them behind the box, but... Uh, yeah, this thing's coming along. I just got a bunch of stuff in the mail for it. I got new mirrors. Um, I'm waiting on my turn signals. I got the four of them. And uh, the mirrors are sweet. I'll show you guys. Probably not in this video. I don't feel like going to grab them. They're inside. But they're skeleton hands holding the mirror. It's pretty sweet. And uh, yeah, I mean, this thing's freaking coming along really nicely. I got to still send this stuff out for powder coating and that. But other than that, it's... Coming along nicely. What's going on guys? Tuesday. Uh, just right now going to get this all situated. I'm going to take this outside. Hopefully it starts. I didn't have it plugged in. Uh, fingers doing great. Come on, focus camera. Doing alright. Um, so we're going to get the chains off, weights off. Measure the seat, see if I can just get one, because that one's, I don't know if you guys see, but it's a dog food bag under there. So, not the best, but um, yeah, we're going to get this outside and uh, get back with you. Chains are off, weights are off. They're fucking heavy, too. I don't know what they got to be. Big ass bitches is all I know, but seems like the fact is leaking hydraulic fluid. 
Um, not a big issue until the winter, but I'm going to check that out. Seems to be going under here. I don't know if you guys can see much. Well, I'm going to check that out. But man, she runs good. I just I got to fix the electricity in here so I can plug it in. But uh, other than that, she's a fucking dude. Alright guys, I got the subframe on, deck on, PTO works, everything's good. Um, all I gotta do, so if you see this ear right here, it's gonna be hard if you guys don't really know what I'm talking about, but this ear, this piece, I have to recreate one for the other side because the tractor's missing one. Um, so I'm probably gonna... I'm thinking I'm just going to drop the PTO down all the way and take that ear off and take it to work with me tomorrow and just fab one up out of some you know, quarter inch cheap metal, I guess. Um, but right now, I'm actually going to take the carbs off the bike. I got the rebuild kit in. Um, my brother has a guy that he trusts with all that stuff. I was like, I was like, do you have a guy who can rebuild carbs? He was like, what's a carb, you know, because fuck that, old shit, you know what I mean? But it's all right. So he's got a guy he trusts, um, so I'm going to take the carbs off, get the rebuild kit over to him and get these to him, and uh, yeah, let him do that. I'm going to, I think I'm going to order new pod filters. These aren't the stock ones. There's this, like, ugly box that goes here, and the ducting comes out over here. Stupid. Um... I love the way this looks. Hopefully it's not too uh, like sluggish like this, you know what I mean? Like a, like a vacuum leak would be. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rip these off and uh, get back with you. Got the carbs out. Just checking them out myself before I send them off. Probably this weekend, take them out. But uh, yeah, it's probably a good opportunity while everything's out to just, you know, generally clean up in here and inspect everything. Cause, you know, I mean, it is a 43-year-old bike, so. Like these. This is this is a weird one here. These these plugs are in. Boots are on. Ready? I don't think so. These are Denzo. I don't, I don't think these are the ones for this bike, but uh, I'm going to order a set just to be sure and put some new plugs in it. They look fine, but I mean, I'll sue me. Off they go. I just gotta grab the rebuild kit. I just marked that just in case he's got other projects going on. I don't know. So, yeah. So, here's the mirrors. I put the carb kit in the truck already, but ain't these fucking sweet or what? I think so. But the turn signals I ordered are on back order currently. Um, so I'm just waiting on those and I have to, again, I still have to uh, fuck around here and figure out why this is sitting so low and just make it sit up. I, I really wish I just had one side by side to, you know, look at, but... I think it's coming along pretty nicely. It's a project, obviously. I picked it up as one, and uh, we're we're all about tackling projects around here. Y'all know that. So currently, Haley's hooking her battery up and uh, scrounging around for some bolts to put in uh, her ground strap, and uh, that should be it. We double checked everything, fluids, everything's plugged in. Uh, brakes are shit, tranny's hooked up, everything's good, it shifts. Got brakes huh? I got new brakes already. You already ordered them? Oh, okay. So, yeah, everything's pretty much good to go, so. She's doing that, I'm doing this, and, uh, yeah, I'll pick this back up, um, with whatever I do next. I'm probably going to pick up the, it's probably when I pick up the carbs, but, um, if anything happens, it happens going on guys I know this video is all over the place but now it is Sunday and uh, we're gonna pick up some new wheels for the 2500 which I still haven't shown you much of but I put my radio in things pimping I got a 
rear view camera in it, or backup camera, whatever you want to call it. And it's a pretty sneaky spot, so I can see my trailers. I think that's pretty dope. But anyways, uh, we're going to pick up some wheels right now. I'm just loving the interior here. It's coming along nicely. Look at this freaking truck. Holy. We acquired the wheels. Forgot to show you guys, but I'm at my mom's now just hanging out and stuff. They're going to need tires eventually. I mean, they're decent. But, yeah, there they are. Definitely going to have to cut. Because the, I think, I'm just going to follow the flare. But, they rub, so, sweet. So, random turn of events. We're actually ended up going to dinner with uh, my brother Daryl and my mom. So, that's cool. And, uh... Yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so this is this is towards the end of the uh, video here, but um, I just wanted to show you real quick. I'm not going to touch too much on it um, in this video, but we got a. Uh, 250 enduro um, this is going to be me learning and just you know ripping around the yard and stuff in the field but things sweet rode around all day yesterday this thing sent the carbs out to get rebuilt um, got the blinkers in got to wire them up a few other things but right now on the truck I think I showed you guys the wheels right looks pretty good um, I broke a, well I didn't do it, it just kind of did it, um, tie rod, or a, I'm sorry, a fucking uh, sway bar and link, so there's that, and uh, yeah I got the new one, I actually had to cut it because it literally broke off on the bottom, there was no way to hold it, I tried with pliers, you couldn't loosen the two, so cut it is, but gonna slap the new one in now, and yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see, but the chickens keep getting out. And we have more that have to go outside. But, um, I, so I'm in the middle of building this coop for them. And, uh, my plan is to get one of them, like, I think they're like 6x10 dog kennels. And then that'll be the run for the coop. Because that was, that was just all temporary, you know. I just kind of whipped it together. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna start on these. I got the 4x4 for the post, just from the some larch from the Amish guy up the road. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna film the whole thing, but I'll show you guys when it's done for sure. What's going on, guys? Next day. Sorry again, it's just all over the place, but I want this all in the same video. Um, doing brakes on old blue there, and uh, ended up buying this PC. A guy ended up. Uh, I was supposed to grab it on the way home from work, but he he was like, oh, I'll deliver it to you. I was like, okay, threw him an extra couple bucks, whatever. Came with a little, like, I put it inside already, but it's like a freaking 12-inch monitor, so I'm going to mount it, you know, vertical, and uh, I'll have it for chat if you guys watch me play games. I like to play games, so does every guy, so whatever. But, um, yeah, it's pretty pretty filthy. I took it apart, cleaned it really good. Um, this is as clean as I could get the one fan. It's like hazed. I mean, it works, whatever. Um, all it needs is a graphics card, and the CPU is a little outdated, so I'm going to put one of those in too. And uh, get an external hard drive, and we should be good there. But, um, everything else cleaned up fairly well with a magic eraser. Ew. Except for this. I don't know why, but I scrubbed the shit out of it. I'm not lying to you guys. Like, look at that's where the mesh was for the. There's, there's like a vent here. I took it all apart, and uh, I'm actually I have carbon fiber wrap here. I'm just gonna wrap the front faceplate and see how it looks. If it looks shitty, I'll scuff it and paint it. But let's get to it. What's going on, guys? Um, I actually wasn't planning on filming much today, but I'll show you why we are. Ah. Uh, I'm just going to throw this in the end of the video and that'll be that and I can start fresh. I'm just, it's kind of like a run on, run, run on sentence with this video, but 
it's cool. So today um, I'm going to be throwing these in, my LED plate lights for the truck. Um, they're non-serviceable, which I don't like, um, but that's what's on it, so I just got the same ones. Um, and I'm painting this front piece on the PC, um, and I know it doesn't look the best right now, but that's because your first coat's always light. I gotta keep telling myself that, don't go heavy, you know. But, um, yeah, I ended up wrapping the piece that goes here, carbon fiber. Didn't turn out too well. Um, around the edges, it kind of, like, was starting to peel up. So I was like, eh, fuck it, I'll paint that. So let me show you why we're filming today. So this isn't the best sight, seeing the truck on uh, jack stands, but, um, yeah, I'm on my way home from work yesterday, and this. I don't know if you guys could hear that or see it, but uh, my wheel bearing blew out and it took my fucking axle with it, melted the boot, and somehow a little bit of the caliper, but we're gonna take it all apart and dive deeper, but this is fucking awesome. So, before you guys ask, it was about 7.30 at night, I had to work overtime, so I had to drive this home, but I only worked like 15 minutes from here. But here's what happened, the rotor actually blew apart with the hub. So that's fucking cool. Um, looks like it did take the caliper with it. Nice, nice, love it. Um, I do have new pads and rotors um, right here, but I opened them up and they're for the rear. So I ordered some from Rock Auto and they should be here today. Um, but, so I, I ended up ordering them to my mom's not my house on accident so Haley's going to grab those after work so she'll she'll be back with those and I do have um what's it called uh a hub on the way it was supposed to be here today and now it's saying it's on time for tomorrow that doesn't make sense when it was supposed to be here today but I even expedited the shipping so I me mean, whatever um it beats paying that over, I think it was like $84.99 on Detroit Axle. It beats that over $250, $300 at advance. Fuck that. I'll uh, take another day off work, you know. I got the time off. It's whatever. So, yeah, I'm going to tear this apart and, uh, fuck, man. Just my luck. So we got the tractor back up here. I don't know if I told you guys or not, but it broke down in the backfield. Uh... This snapped on me. So, I tried sourcing parts, called and went to about four different places, nothing. So I think what I'm gonna do is put one of them uh, spacers in there and a longer bolt and weld it on there. Theoretically, if I don't weld here and this can still spin, it should work. You know what I mean? Um, but the pump connects to this. Uh, spindle I guess you could say and that's what turns both wheels so I can't do anything without it and I can't I took this part of this side apart to see you know uh, what was going on in there but it's not the same as this side so that's what we're gonna do I just had to freaking turn the wheel by hand drive a little bit turn it by hand drive a little bit it was terrible but uh yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, I got the brakes done on that side. Everything's good. Check it down. No wheel bearing, nothing. All good. Um, waiting for Haley to get back to work. I was going to take that, but I don't really want to risk it. Um, so we can go pick up some parts for this. I think I showed you guys. Fucked. So, and it mounted the axle boot. And I have a couple boots laying around. Nothing fit. Um, I called two stores, no boots, so we might have to put an axle in it, but it's uh, going to be kind of a peace of mind thing anyways, something I don't have to replace in the future if I do, you know, what is it, 150 bucks? Who cares? So I think I'm going to do that, and I uh, think the new hub's at my P.O. box, and then this should all be good once I put the brakes back in, and uh, yeah, I think it's upstairs somewhere, but I do have... Uh, GoPro mount for the helmet, so stay tuned for that. I really want the one that goes here, but I have a vent there, so I can't. So I think I'll just mount it up here somewhere, so you guys can come along down the trail with me and stuff. And uh, 
Hayden called me out. He just swapped a 212 Predator engine onto his mini bike. Sorry about the wind. And uh, he thinks he's faster. We don't, I don't know. You know, I mean, the mini bike's just auto. You just rip it and go, but it pops wheelies. The front end's so squirrely, so who knows? You might have me off rip, you might not. I mean, I'm uh, getting pretty used to this thing. I ride it every day now, and I guess we'll find out, but that'll be a pretty sweet video, so uh, stay tuned for that. Probably next video. But I'm gonna fix these units. So I welded it up, put the bolt back on, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is what it's supposed to look like. Welds ain't the best, you know, but uh, we got it on there. It was it was a weird angle, but it works. So thing turns, everything, it's all good, and uh, hopefully we don't snap the welds because it's just a Harbor Freight welder. It barely even melts through, you know, but uh, yeah, we're going to head to the store right now, got to go all over, Harbor Freight, Tractor Supply, I got to get new sockets because all my axle sockets are missing, I have, you know, we, <sighs> the biggest I have right now is a 30 when I had a 32, 4, and a 36, so I don't, I don't know, so we got to get that obviously, I'm just going to pick up a new axle, like I said, 150 bucks, can't beat it, and uh, well, you can beat it, just don't break shit. <laughs> but, uh, I think that's it. Gotta go to tractor supply and a few other things. So, I'll catch back up with you later. So, I haven't figured out quite exactly how I wanna have the box sitting here, but I did a ting. Let me get the seat up for you. I did a ting. It freaking bumps. I miss subs. It kind of sits perfectly there, but I wanted it to be under the seat, you know? So, I don't know. We'll see. And as for this, my hub came in. I picked up the new axle. Everything's good there. I just have to... Where is it? I don't even know if I want to really reuse this. But I'm going to machine it and try. But, um, where is it? This one. Hopefully it'll stay. That bolt broke in there. It ground down on that side, but then it broke on this side. So I've got uh, the new hub. I had to double check, make sure it was 8 lug. You never know at some of these places. I had to buy, they wanted $28.99 for one 36 mil socket at Tractor Supply. So I went to Harbor Freight, I just got a whole kit, 60 bucks. I, I explained before, but I don't know where any of my stuff went. Also, I'm always missing screwdrivers. So I just bought a whole new kit. This is the third time buying this. Not this exact one, but just buying screwdrivers. I don't know where the fuck they go. The first time, I bought Milwaukee ones. They were pretty nice, magnetic tip, everything. And those got lost. I bought some Harbor Freight ones. Those got lost. Now I bought these other Harbor Freight ones. We'll see how long they last. They just get misplaced. I don't know, like one here, you know what I mean? Like they're everywhere, I don't, I don't know. But whatever, cheap enough, so uh, yeah, now we got these. Hopefully these don't get stolen or lost. And uh, axle two. So I'm really trying to save the caliper bracket here. It's not going in my favor. So got the axle and hubs in. Everything's good. The uh, sway bar and link. All that. And uh, I'm going to get, I just ordered a caliper to advance. So they're going to have it. It was cheaper. There was a discount for online only. So I was like, eh, hey, whatever. But um, Brianna wanted to drive the tractor around, and good thing, you know, we let her test drive before we went and mowed, because it fucking snapped. I don't think this Harbor Freight welder can put some good boogers in between, you know, it melt through there, but I guess we're going to try it again, but I'm going to weld the fuck out of it. I don't know, but going to advance. Got the new caliper on. I don't know why, it just looks so freaking massive, but... They put, I don't know if you guys can see, that's the best I got for an angle, but they put Torx bits for the slider pins, and I don't have one that big, and the best I got is an Allen. So I, uh, waiting for my neighbor to get back, he went down the snowmobile trail, probably getting wood or something, and gonna see what he's got, so. Truck's all good, got the, uh, brakes done on this side. And fucking everything on this side. Caliper, 
pads, rotors, axle, hub, you name it. I rod, fucking sway bar on length, it's all done. So, sweet. Um, now this, got an idea, I think I'm gonna jack it up and take the wheel off and see what we see in there. I don't know what exactly to do, but that seems like the best route. So guys, it's gonna be the end of the video here, but uh, right now we're setting up for the race. Uh, me and Hayden, not the wheeler, he's got his mini bike, I have the Enduro. We're gonna see what happens, but um, check out next video if you guys wanna see that. It's gonna be good. And uh, I mean, as always, uh, like, comment, subscribe. The tractor's fixed, ready to go. Richie came in clutch, found a part on eBay, but um, it's pretty much ready to go. We're just gonna move the focus and uh, bring it outside. Everything seems to be good in the neighborhood. So if you guys like that video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Drop a comment if you're excited for tractor and the race because it's next video, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.